We'll guide you through how to download and install Java for Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, go and open up a web browser. I'll just use Chrome and you can use any search engine. And then let's go and search for Java, just like so. And make sure you go to java.com and wait for it to load. A big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to server host. They've got so many awesome features like one-click mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, which is super useful. And there's instant setup and so many other awesome features. There's a link in the description and in the pinned comments, you can come and check them out. And at the moment, you can get 50% off monthly plans, so it's worth checking them out. But for now, back to the video. And literally, just click on download Java here. So it will go and take a moment to load, and then press on download Java again. And the download should then begin. And it's now finished downloading, but I know every browser is different, so just go and open up your file explorer to go and find the download, which is just here in my downloads folder. And we can then start the installer. So double click on it like this. You'll get a Windows security pop-up, which unfortunately I can't record. And then we can go and press on install like this. Make sure you agree to the terms I already do. And then just wait for it to install. Once it's finished, you'll get this pop-up saying it was successful and you can then press close. So now what we can do is try using it. So I'm guessing you're trying to go and run something like Optifine or Forge for Minecraft or another type of jar file. Here's Forge, which is the jar file, which is a mod installer for Minecraft. So what you need to do is right click on it like this and click on open with and then go across to choose another app. And what you need to do is locate Java TM platform SE binary. You may need to scroll down a bit and then press always. And then it should go and run the installer using Java and it should work. Now, I know for some people this may not be working. If this is the case, we may need to do something called a jar fix. So all you need to do is go and open up uh, a browser again. I'll open up Chrome and you need to go and search for jar fix, all one word like so. And then it's by this website here by a guy called Johan. So I'll go and click on it. And you may be wondering what jar fix is. Well, what it will do is it's gonna reassociate jar files with Java. It's super good and it's pretty straightforward to run. And so to download it, come down to the solution and you can then press on jar fix or exe like so, and it will then start the download. So we'll then go and open up our file explorer again and come to your downloads and find the jarfix.exe and then just double click on it like so. You'll get a Windows security pop up and once you agree to it, it will then go and say the .jar suffix has been successfully registered. So that's it. Then press OK and we can close off this. And what you want to do is come back to that jar file just here and you can right click on it, press open with, press choose another app and try running it with Java platform SE binary again, press always, and that should go and fix the problem. If it still doesn't, then what I'd recommend you do is try restarting your computer because that might be what it needs, but usually it should just start working like that. So if you do need to restart your computer, just press on the Windows start button and go over to the right and you can press on the power button and then restart. And that should go and fix the problem. Jarfix is an amazing sort of tool. It's very, it's, it just simply reassociates everything, but it often goes and fix the problem for loads of people. And so I'll just show you that I can now go and install Forge. So I'll go and double click on it like this. And we'll then go and get the mod system installer, which basically shows it's running using Java. And then you can click OK on install client and it will then go and install. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. I think it's going to do a few downloads and then it sort of builds everything out, as you can see it's doing right now. And once it's finished, you'll go and get a pop up saying the install was successful. Just like that, it will say successfully installed the client and you can press OK. And now I'll quickly launch Minecraft just to show you that it's working. Here we are in the launcher and once it loads, head over to the left and click on Java edition and make sure that you're running Minecraft with, you know, using Forge or Optifine or whatever you've just installed. So I'll use Forge and then I'll click on play. And as you can see in the bottom left, it says Forge and we've got the option for mods, which shows we've now successfully installed Forge um, with the thanks of Java, because without Java, you can't install it. So then we can go and get into a world and we can go and start playing Minecraft.